What's going on guys? Greg again. And I want to discuss the editor tab, uh, specifically the waveform editor. You have the start tab here. You can adjust what the start point of your sample is going to be. Uh, the end point as well. This is great for cutting out unwanted noise or if a sample has a long tail with a lot of silence you can cut it out pretty easily. You can adjust the edit range with this box and that's on both sides here. So if you want to select a specific range in the waveform to edit you can absolutely do that. Uh, you have a crop button which is going to cut everything outside the edit range out. You have a cut button which is going to cut everything inside the edit range out. You have a copy and a paste. Uh, you have a duplicate, which is pretty cool. So it'll duplicate the sample at the end of the edit range. Uh, you have a normalize and a silence. Now normalize is just going to bring your sample up to the optimum volume as decided by battery. Uh, fade in and fade out is better for things with a long sustain. Um, you have a DC correct which if you look at this line here in the middle of the sample, this represents zero amplitude. And if you have a sample that is slightly off from this line or offset, let's say it's above, maybe the sample is centered more up here or down here. Um, what happens is you get what's called DC offset and that can result in unwanted harmonics or various artifacts like pops, clicks, uh, low end distortion. Um, ultimately what it does is it reduces the headroom you have and if you mix something with DC offset with something that doesn't have DC offset you'll end up giving the thing that didn't have any offset DC offset and losing headroom and creating unwanted artifacts like I said. So it's uh, definitely something you want to take care of and Native Instruments puts a DC correct button in so that you may do that. Uh, so that's pretty cool. The snap feature, if you'll see where the waveform, where it intersects with the amplitude zero line, this is going to try and snap the edit range to that intersection to create a more seamless loop. So instead of having like maybe one end of the edit range up here on this peak and another end on the valley or the or the uh, the notch, whatever you want to call this down here, uh, and that would that would create a pop and a click if you were to loop this sample. But this, um, as it is ampli or on both sides of the edit range, it's amplitude zero. So you now more than likely won't have a pop or just have an easier time editing such uh, artifacts out of your sample, which is pretty cool. Uh, the full button is going to play the full sample. The range button is going to play what's inside the edit range. And the loop range is just going to loop what's selected in this box here. Uh, you can select between the layers up here. So I have two layers lo um, loaded here. And you have a sample selector in here and that's just going to go through whatever library you're in if you click well or not <laughs> okay well normally this would go and give you the option to browse through the libraries by clicking left or right on this tab here anyhow guys that'll sum up the waveform editor here so hope you learn something hope you get the chance to experiment with this it's pretty cool pretty awesome editor uh, you can really, you can really destructively edit some samples with this, or just edit slightly and clean up your sound a little bit. So, as always, guys, have a great day and happy producing.